My name is Nur Lidiana Wanifarisa Binti Latif with metric number BM2011-0096. Today, we will present our topic which is biochemical taste for iron deficiency in women. For the introduction, across the globe, more than 20% of women population having iron deficiency. Iron deficiency, ID, is the most common macronutrient deficiency in the world and defined as reduction of total body iron. Iron deficiency is the usually common in women of reproductive age, such as during menstruation and pregnancy. During menstruation, iron deficiency is often caused by heavy menstrual bleeding, while during pregnancy, iron loss due to the increase in blood volume and other factors include not consuming enough iron, vitamin B12, or folic acid. Next. It is particularly important to know the function of iron. Iron is a necessary element for several vital processes, including energy metabolism, cell development, cell signaling, and gene expression. Lack of iron can affect oxygen transfer and enzyme reactions in all major metabolic pathways. Moreover, there were three stages of iron deficiency, which are iron depletion, iron deficiency, and iron deficiency anemia. Iron depletion is where hemoglobin levels are normal, but only have a small amount of iron store and may not cause symptoms. Iron deficiency is when iron stores and blood iron levels are very low, may experience tiredness or weakness, while iron deficiency anemia is Red blood cells have low hemoglobin because of prolonged iron deficiency. It is also affects immune system and may become more vulnerable to infection. Next, how to detect iron deficiency ID. In general, an imbalance between iron loss and iron absorption leads to iron deficiency. In female patients with symptoms that may indicate iron deficiency, it is important to perform the proper taste to confirm or rule out this possibility. Biochemical tests that can be used to detect iron deficiency ID are serum iron concentration taste, total iron binding capacity TIBC, transferrin concentration taste, and ferritin concentration taste. Next, I will be talking about the results of our findings. For the serum iron concentration test, the upper limit for the normal range of serum ferritin level is 150 micrograms per liter. As for patients with deficiency of iron stored, their serum ferritin level will be less than 15 micrograms per liter. As for the lower limit of normal range of serum ferritin level, for patients with heart failure, they will have around 100 micrograms per liter and for dialysis patients if uh, is around 200 micrograms per liter. As for well, patients with iron deficiency anemia and hematologic or solid neoplasms, they will have above 100 micrograms per liter of serum ferritin level in 50% of the cases. And some of the cases will have around 800 micrograms per liter. So here is the prevalence of anemia according to World Health Organization in 2019. So around 29.9% of the people with anemia are women of reproductive age and 29.6% are non-pregnant women in reproductive age and also 36.5% are pregnant women. So according to WHO, the region with the highest number of anemia for women of reproductive age and non-pregnant women of reproductive age is in Southeast Asia. As for pregnant women, the highest region, the region with the highest number of anemia is Africa. I'm Nur Afrina Nasoha. I will present about iron deficiency in menstruation. Iron deficiency or ID is the most common micronutrient deficiency worldwide with more than 20% of women experiencing it during their reproductive lives. Women have much higher natural risk of iron deficiency compared to men. Women with regular periods have an iron insufficiency prevalence that is almost 10 times greater than men.
Besides that, only female blood donors are likely to have ferritin levels below 20 nanograms per milliliter or empty iron stores. This is due to a combination of inadequate or insufficient daily dietary supply of iron and regular loss of blood and iron during menstruation. Hem iron from animal sources and non-hem iron from grain and vegetable sources are the two types of dietary iron that women are encouraged to include in their diet. However, the hem iron is being two to three times more readily absorbed from the gut than the non-hem iron. Next, menorrhagia, also known as heavy menstrual bleeding, can decrease iron reserve. This is defined as blood loss more than 80 ml per cycle. When women lose blood during menstruation, they also lose the iron found in those red blood. Iron is an important component of hemoglobin, which is the protein, the protein in red blood cells responsible for transporting oxygen to tissue. Therefore, further depletion of iron store caused by heavy menstrual bleeding can lead to iron deficiency anemia. Some of the causes of heavy menstrual bleeding is hormone imbalance and uterine fibroids. Symptoms such as weakness, fatigue, irritability, hair loss, poor concentration, and poor work performance is resulting from reduced enzyme activity and oxygen delivery to tissues. If blood cells do not have enough oxygen, we may feel tired and short of breath, like our heart is racing. This is because our heart is working harder and trying to pump blood more quickly to get oxygen to our cells. These symptoms are common, but they may point to a larger problem which is iron deficiency anemia. Other than that, iron deficiency or iron deficiency anemia may also be asymptomatic. Therefore, some women may not experience any symptoms. After that, approximately 300 mg of store iron out of the 2.3 gram of total iron, severe monthly bleeding will cause iron depletion. After that, 70% of women who lose more than 80 ml of blood each month have iron deficiency either with or without anemia. Fatigue, weakness, dizziness, lethargy, headache, pale or yellowy skin, shortness of breath, craving or chewing eyes are signs and symptoms of anemia, while severe anemia symptoms include a rapid heartbeat, low blood pressure, and difficulty concentrating, multiple pregnancy, trophoblastic disease, chronic renal disease, Chronic liver disease and chronic infection are all clinical conditions that are commonly associated with anemia in pregnancy. Hemoglobin concentration of 11 gram in the first trimester or 10 gram in the second and third trimester is considered significant anemia in pregnancy. Severe maternal morbidity, including fatalities, blood transfusion, and hysterectomies was more common in women who had anemia. Iron deficiency has been linked to placenta hypertrophy, which can increase the risk of premature birth, low birth weight, infant death, and impair cognitive development in infancy. The absorbed iron requirement is estimated to rise from 0.8 mg per day in early pregnancy to 7.5 mg per day in late pregnancy. Postpartum anemia is caused by insufficient iron intake before and during pregnancy, as well as blood loss during delivery, depression, stress, 
anxiety, cognitive impairment, decreased mother-infant attachment, and infant developmental retardation have all been linked to it. A postpartum hemoglobin concentration less than 10 gram indicates clinically significant anemia. If the hemoglobin level is less than 11 gram, the cause of anemia is investigated in iron deficiency anemia, biochemical tests such as serum iron concentration, total iron binding capacity or TIBC, transferrin concentration and ferritin concentration are reduced. The RDI for iron is 18 mg per day for women and 27 mg per day during pregnancy. Iron is stored as ferritin, a protein complex found in the liver, spleen and bone marrow. Transferrin transport iron in the blood and is used to calculate TIBC. When TIBC is rise, iron levels fall. The determination of serum ferritin is the most effective single test for detecting iron deficiency in pregnant women. Treatment is determined by the severity of the anemia. Oral iron therapy is generally recommended in cases of mild anemia. However, in patients with moderate to severe anemia, IV iron therapy is used. Other than that, daily supplementation of 60 mg ferrum or 120 mg ferrum for 6 months in pregnancy. Besides, iron-rich foods such as shrimp, oyster and clams, turkey, beans and lentil, and liver are recommended. In conclusion, there are various types of biochemical tests that can be done in order to identify people with iron deficiency, especially in women. So it is important to choose the best type of biochemical test in order to obtain an accurate measurement and also to give the correct diagnosis. This is because some of the biochemical tests could give an inaccurate measurement when it is not used carefully. For example, the ferritin levels must be interpreted carefully, especially on patients with malignancy, liver disease, inflammation, and also infection. So it is important that early prevention of iron deficiency is done so that people could be more healthy. So some of the steps that, that could be done are consuming good sources of iron, such as dark green leafy vegetables, lean red meats, eggs, peas, and etc. Also consuming vitamin C rich foods, such as strawberries, tomatoes, oranges, which assist in the absorption of iron. It is also important for the mothers to ensure that their toddlers and children consume sufficient foods that are rich in iron and supplementation with medical iron base on the age of patients should be given to patients with iron deficiency.